OK, so this week uh, we focus on dashboard design. And in this week's lab, we will also try to design a dashboard in Tableau. And in the next week, we will see how we can create a story in Tableau. But this week, we just want to introduce that what is the storytelling. OK, uh, so uh, when we prepare um, our final projects, so consider these points in your visualization and also in your uh, presentation. So when we started this class, uh, we mentioned that the world is being filled with data. So we process huge amount of data. But in the recent survey that they find that we throw away most of the information without reading it. OK, because there is a finite amount of data that can be consumed. And we are competing to attention with our visualizations. So this is an example that uh, from the Wall Street Journal. They are trying to compare the cost of a gigabyte usage for the top three wireless carrier. And unfortunately, and this one is very hard to process. So you may throw it away immediately when you saw this uh, visualization. <clears throat> OK, however, so there's no such thing that information is overloaded. There's only simply a bad design. OK, uh, so we will come back to see the example later. But first, let's see that what is a storytelling. OK. And also why it is important. So we often heard that uh, here that uh, there is a left brain and also right brain. And there is also a mental separation that between a mass brain and also a creative brain. However, it is more complicated than that. So scientific studies show that storytelling affects the brain. So a story activates part of the brain that allows the listener to turn the story into their own ideas and also experience. So listeners will experience the similar brain activities as the speaker. And the, the brain will also release the dopamine. OK, and when they are experience an emotional and charged uh, event, which may make it easier to remember with greater accuracy. And when the brain um, process facts, OK, there the brain is activated by two primary areas. But when the brain is engaged in a well told story, there are more areas being activated. OK, so let's look at the elements of the storytelling. So at the highest level, so we are trying to attract the audience. We want to engage with audience to deliver a punchline. OK, so it's very easy to tell that. So the uh, so law of the attraction. So identifying the theme, who are the audience, and also what is the message. OK, so that can set a tone and also keep it as simple. The rule of engagement, so is the visualization interactive or st static? And for the final project, uh, you will be creating uh, interactive visualizations. OK, uh, as you are create visualizations in the future, so keep this in mind so that what is the best choice for the visualization to display? Pay close attention to use of colors and also the size and also spaces. OK, so that we can walk the audience through the story. And make sure the purpose is clear. OK, so set back from your visualizations and ask yourself, so what? What is a user supposed to take from your visualization? What purposes did it serve? Is that clear? OK, and we want to make a lasting impression. OK, and we want to try to do it in a good way. OK, so I think um, this is a great um, a statement that 
Andrew uh, Staten, the direct at the Pixels, has great TED talk. So, so uh, he says that do not give them four. Okay, uh, so give them um, two plus two. Okay, and here I'm going to show an example that um, that is Han or really since TD talk. Okay, and also probably this is probably the best story that storytelling that we have ever seen. Okay, I think this is a pretty great uh, storytelling. So he engaged with audience by using animations of the countries and also walk us through the journey, offering real time uh, visualizations. And he highlights important aspect of the data that people can relate to. Okay, and he states his um, punchline earlier so that I realized there was really a need to communicate the data. Okay, and he continues to refer um, throughout his walk and also wrapped up his talk, discussing the importance and need for more open data and promoting a fact-based view of the data, of the world. Okay, um, so as Stephen Few said, numbers have an important story to tell. They rely on you to give them a clear and also convincing voice. Okay, so now if we go back and look at these wireless examples from the Wall Street Journal. So let's do a redesign. So here are the data. And we can see that dollars go from $20 to 135, while the gigabyte plans goes from 1 gigabyte to 40 gigabytes. So we can calculate the average price per gigabyte. So here is a redesign by a student, okay, where the colors coded the three carriers and keeping color consistent all over the charts and the charts on the table on the top left shows the pricing trend of the plans and the data allowance goes up. And we can see ATT and Verizon has a similar trend, but Sprint has a clear distinction. Okay, so when calculating the average price per gigabyte, Sprint also come to the lowest. Okay, and we can also notice the title, so that the chart titles and also subtitles throughout. Okay. Okay, so in this revision, so uh, the author sets up the questions and they answer it by highlighting the carrier. So, it is um, easy to see that where Sprint lines up versus the other carriers and also why it is a best choice uh, for the cheapest plan. 